And this desire to get more into details it needs to be controlled as well. As you compose your <coughs> drawing painting, although the main subject of this conversation of this painting is God, faith, destiny, there is a guy on his knees, right? He's an artist, it's myself, you know, I'm painting myself. Found love, so he found these two beating hearts. So this is the main subject of conversation of the message within this artwork. There is also other shit like Pandora's Box Paradox. There is civilization, obliterating city. And so the compulsiveness of getting into detail, getting into detail, is not necessarily, uh, how do you call it, mm, perfect uh, solution, because sometimes you need empty space. You see, this is Aphrodite flower I have created, and I don't want any elements over there. The narrative is here. After so much going on here, I need some empty space. So I, I will make it into dunes, like desert, Sahara. It's very challenging, actually. <laughs> I'm having a hard time making dunes, like in a real Sahara. I don't have problems with the ocean my whole life. I'm painting doing ocean, you know. I know exactly how the waves work. But with the desert, I need to develop it. So, most of elements in visual arts don't need to be a uh, literary photographic. In fact, your life journey is to create the actual symbol of love, of Aphrodite, you understand? She, the goddess of the universe, and blah, 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 right? She gives life and reproduction is possible only because of Aphrodite. Now I'm applying very gentle dirt to create some kind of dirty clouds over there. Uh, I could put a little volcano over here where DNA meets the horizon, and by doing so, I will say, you know, Gaia forces, reproductive forces on planet Earth, all organic, not on Earth, in the universe, they can explode. You see? Volcano can explode. And all this dust, you know, flies up and up and up and up and in the air and sort of goes that way. So Aphrodite will be in this very gentle, foggy... Uh, sky. Whereas here, I don't need the clouds around Pandora's box paradox, because the power of the actual, you know, phenomena, we call it, I call it Pandora's box paradox, is such that I express it in this quantum event, this unreasonable, wiggly thing <laughs> that is impossible to, 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 to comprehend like, why shit happens to people. Same goes for dice of destiny. Why am I always using dice? Because there is this Latin saying, and I hear it from my mother my whole life, fucking bitch. She, she, she had some Latin, unusual, in Russian Soviet Union. But <coughs> she says, you know, your dice has been tossed. Your destiny has been predestined before you were born. And this is like the most ridiculous shit I ever heard, you understand? Now, how much empty space should be next to the main subject? It's a matter of intuition. You design your own artwork, you understand? You express your mind with lines, with colors, you understand? This is why you're an artist. Now, controlling the dark and the light, the dark and the light, and hundreds of different shades between the dark and the light is looking for the truth, the true expression of physical properties of this fantasy world. So the world, the real world, you learn linear perspective, infinite color combinations, how to manipulate linear perspective. Like this pyramid appears to be ginormous or the guy 
by comparison to the pyramid, is ginormous. You understand? And the dyes are not little tiny. They, they, they beget this cosmic significance. You understand? It's as important. And the same goes for Aphrodite. It's a symbol. So it has this cosmic symbolism, cosmic significance. You understand? I, I want pollen from Aphrodite flying all over the universe and the sperm is floating backwards towards Aphrodite and this is the idea that Aphrodite you know love and reproduction is present everywhere we have two genders or more genders whatever you know new two genders is actually a new invention you know most of the time life very happily reproduces by by dividing the individual cells so there is no reason to have a second gender but to create more diversity so the two gender reproduction creates actually more immunity for the future generations to fight virus because bacteria and virus this is the primordial war in on earth we humans were just byproducts of this of this arms race you know everything you know about multicellular organisms appears to be just a side effect of climatic changes okay the writing the thoughts i like to incorporate them in a ghostly manner so they do appear in my works but they're not to be read, you understand? So I might as well erase their their literary meaning because it's not a, it's not a book to read. It's a symbol to look at. But since having some words not completely erased, it gives an impression of consciousness or intelligence somewhere in the ocean and the sea. So it doesn't really matter what I said in this blah, 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 universe, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's a literary aspect of Andrei Bogoslavsky, which I do incorporate in my works, but this is not a formula. You understand? I'm not explaining my mind in words. Well, this is not my objective. You can leave this much on work on paper. In fact, you should leave about this much, like one-sixth of an inch, because it will go under matting when the works on paper are framed. Works on paper have to be framed because humidity might damage them. The only thing that is bad for works on paper is humidity. And knowing that, you can experiment. You can take drawing like this, and splash some water over here. It will create warping paper only in the sky. After it dries, you can rub dirty hand over this wrinkled warping paper and it will create an impression that otherwise impossible to do. Like these love pillows I was making. So the pillow is in the center on a cheap paper, like 80 pound paper, and it shrinks the paper so the paper becomes a little wrinkled on the sides, but it gives this light from behind the pillow. You understand? I use the technology of paper damage, essentially, every restorer. I actually have a very good friend who used to work for the Library of Congress, or for Smithsonian, I forgot. Well, Gil, Gil Hall, we're still in touch. We're good friends. He's in Washington, D.C. So the point I'm trying to say, even the process of paper damage by humidity can be used to express something you want to say. Like that pillow that I showed in other photographs. So the, 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 the warping paper is like shooting from the center of the page, logically, because the most of water was in the center of the page, and it radiates, and the warping of the paper creates this bizarre light around the pillow. I'll show you one day. I mean, it's already out there in the market. There are many pillows. There are love pillows. It says, love me on a pillow. <laughs> Just, or kiss me. <laughs> Something like that. Silly. Very bold statement. But the beauty of it is those paper wrinkles that create this shooting outside shades. You understand? Barely visible. Or very visible when you take a photograph. Everyone can say this paper is fucked up. Yes, it is. But it's not going to get more fucked up if you frame it and it's going to be in a dry environment. And it's a miracle that it happened.
I'm looking for miracles in my process. I'm looking for something to fall and to create an aberration, quantum tunneling event that I can't really explain in my logic. I can apply logic for the rest of my life. I can move the pyramid here to create a new pyramid, three-story high pyramid, I don't know. So all of this logic development of a symbol and application of contemporary science, it's good, good, good. There's nothing wrong with that. But this is too white over here. So we need some kind of... Yeah. Okay. So the brightest and the darkest points usually are in the center. But you can manipulate with this. You understand? Like here we can have horizon much brighter because the the volcano will be will be you know um, will be fogging that way you know it's going to be like dust falling that way so above the horizon we can have slightly lighter okay slightly lighter as it is so you're using physical properties from the world you have been observing all these years trying to be an artist like vincent van gogh 10 years but he wasn't really analytical leonardo da vinci was analytical and i learned it from leonardo to analyze every goddamn root of a tree and every goddamn branch it was to supposed to be an apple of temptation and i decided to make this silly birdhouse it's not perfect and uh, to show family love this is my symbol for family love like children and wife and husband okay i i i was married twice you understand i raised children so i know a little bit about it uh okay that's enough